it's a public-private partnership. It's a not-for-profit organization that is founded. Uh, it was founded in 1935, and it has evolved to be a partnership with the city members and private industry. The city pays 40 percent of the budget. The members pay about 20 percent, and the balance is from private industry. visitors, tourists, and business travelers to New York City. Well, um, it, it depends on the market. We choose certain countries with offices in 18 cities around the world, and in those markets we create programs for the travel trade to encourage people to be coming to New York. A lot of what we do is for leisure travel, so we're getting families and tourists to come from their respective markets. The countries that provide the most revenue to New York and the most visitation would be UK, Canada, Brazil, um, Mexico, France, Italy, Germany, Australia, and now we're getting, as an aggregate, we're getting more and more people uh, from uh, parts of South America. visa situation can be fixed, either visa waiver with no visa required, or that when the respective countries make the wait time and the process very simple, we see tremendous visitation. And is that realistic because there is a security issue on the other side? Well, it's very realistic. It's changing every day. <laughs> I mean, people want to be, it's the balance between safety and, and uh, you know, access. There was a short period of time for maybe the first six months where it was very difficult. Uh, but then little by little, and now New York is by far the more successful than it's ever been. When, when we're in that country, yes. what we're doing is well, we have trade programs, we create incentive programs, we do advertising and marketing, um, and we create partnerships in those markets to create programs, with the, especially the tour operators, that would bring more people here. Hundred and sixty. Hundred sixty. And how many of them are uh, marketers? Uh, oh, probably about thirty. Thirty only. And the rest is what well, economists, we tourism uh, we people. We have internet people. We have creative people. We have convention sales people. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole range of different disciplines. Well, what it is is that the meetings and convention business. They know all the markets, and they come and visit, and they do competitive bidding. And often what happens is it depends on the facilities. We have one very large uh, convention center, which is Javits. It's occupied 73% of the time. Any other convention center in the United States is no more than 40% occupied. So we're very much at a capacity.